So we recently got this new Thunder Laser, which is a Nova 63 and it's the biggest one that they make. So I wanted to do a project that really highlights the size of this and put it to the test. And I'm here too. This is a really large tin oak slab and we're gonna see if we can laser engrave the entire top of it. Well, no, we're going to laser engrave the entire top of it. We're gonna see how it comes out. We've already planed this slab, which is an important step, so worth mentioning, but it's not sanded yet, which is also really important before this even hits the laser. To do this, we're going with Starbond Z9 Performance sanding discs, starting with an 80 grit and then working our way up. The pencil provides a visual reference so we know once the whole thing's been sanded. And once it was entirely smooth, it headed over to the laser bed for, for a nap of sorts. I put together a tessellating pattern design that's gonna evenly cover the entire face of the slab. And this is gonna be a six and a half hour engrave. So hopefully this goes off without a hitch because if this gets nudged or something, it's no good. It was quite fun to watch though. I think I probably watched at least two hours of the six hour engrave. <laughs> If something were to go wrong or we lost power or something, the Thunder Laser does have a feature where when you turn your machine back on, it'll ask, do you want to start where you left off? And you click yes, and then it starts where you left off, which is really nice. I don't want to rely on it though. It's more of a nice safety net to know is there. Um, and I really appreciate that feature. Um, if I nudge this though, all bets are off. Like hope, I hope there's not an earthquake. We don't get those in Boston, but you just never know these days. I think it looks great. It's really even. That's what I wasn't sure about. Yeah, no it is. We really ended up loving how you can see the texture of that pin oak on the not engraved sections, obviously, but also on the engraved sections too. Wasn't something we thought about ahead of time, but very welcome when we saw the finished, the finished effect. Uh, there's knots in this slab and we didn't fill those ahead of putting this in the laser cutter because we weren't sure what not filling material was or wasn't laser safe so we wanted to err on the side of caution um, and just fill those after. To do this we're using Starbond CA glue, we're using black CA glue to kind of stabilize the knots on the sections that are engraved and then clear for the not engraved sections. After that, Michael went ahead and pulled the bark off of this because we're thinking we're gonna turn this into a live edge slab coffee tabletop. Um, there's so much going on. We're gonna keep it kind of simple and let the engraved tabletop really be the focus. Another big consideration is that with so much engraved surface area, there's a lot of soot on this. So we just don't wanna like smear it around or anything like that. We want it to stay put. Um, I'm going back over with a, uh, starting with a 220 grit up to a 600 grit and just making sure I'm not leaning the sander at all so that all those engraves stay intact. This is gonna crisp up the edges of the design and really make the pattern pop. So you've got a good contrast between the bright white oak and the dark engrave. Everything's pretty in there at this point, but just to be safe, we didn't want to use a wipe on finish. We went with a spray on finish. This is a semi gloss poly just to make sure we don't, like I said, smudge anything. And this is going to get some simple black hairpin legs. These always look so good with slab tabletops, and I think the black color plays off the black on the engrave. I don't know. I think it'll be a nice finished look, and they are really, really simple to install. The tape on the drill bit is going to ensure that I don't drill my pilot hole accidentally all the way through the slab. And then these each go in with three screws.
And then it was all done. I'm so happy with the pattern. It reminds me of a modern take on that classic quilt square. I don't know if you know the one I'm talking about. And we really love the texture of it. If you wanted to do this for a surface that you needed to write on, for example, you could get glass cut to fit over it, but we like it exactly as it is for something like a coffee table. And for that, we're calling it mission success on our slab engraving experiment.